Hello, hello, hello. I just want to welcome y'all in. I'm about to cook. So come on in. Get this thing started. Thank you for your time. So come on in. Thank you for every moment you spend with Myra. Really quick. But thank you. I always want to say thank you. Again, if I forget to say thank you, charge it to the head, not the heart. Let's go. Let's see the finished product. This is my chicken and rice and some other stuff. It's a lot of goodness in here and it's smelling so good, y'all. I got some bean sprouts, green onions, yellow onions, peas and carrots, cream of chicken soup. I got my seasonings. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First, I want to get my rice rinsed really good i'm gonna rinse it at least about three times getting that starch off quick 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 hold on hold on yeah i had to adjust some things but i'm ready now i'm just letting the water run starch is running out this is what I do, you do you. So that's done, that's done. Now I'm about to add some chicken stock. I'm adding three cups of chicken stock because I got a cup and a half of rice. I'm gonna add my rice in that's been rinsed. Yeah, I know some people have a fit. Did you rinse your rice? It's your choice. It's your choice. It's your house, your food, and you're going to eat what you want to eat, how you want to eat. So now that it's boiling, give it a quick stir, and I'm going to put that lid on and turn my fire down low. And it's going to be steaming for about 15 minutes top. Now, I got this rotisserie chicken. I got this from Sam's Club. I'm about to cut it up, beat it up, and use this to go with my rice. If I can get this band off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I am going to just pull the legs and wings off. I'm going to use that for something else, maybe. Or just warm it up later and we'll eat it so I'm just pulling it apart I am gonna cut it but I'm breaking it up y'all it's easy for me to just do this cut that breast in half and I'm gonna pull all the meat apart uh, and I'm gonna take off the skin I don't want the skin I'm gonna season my food anyway. Again, this is a rotisserie chicken. Already done. I got it from Sam's Club. As you can see, I'm trying to get all that meat off them bones. And yes, I am using my hands. It's my food. We're gonna eat it. And I got soap and water, you know. It's okay for me. Everybody cook differently. Cook for your family. I'm just sharing what I do. Nobody, I mean, I can't make nobody do nothing. I'm not trying to make anybody do anything. I'm just sharing what I do. So, now I'm just cutting this chicken up, dicing it. Mainly, I'm using the chicken breast um, for this meal. The thighs... I'm not going to use the thighs. I already pulled off the legs and wings because the, the breast is more than enough meat. I thought I was going to need the thighs, but I didn't need them. That's more than enough. It's just the hubby and me. Other than dinner and his lunch, it's more than enough. Just trying to make sure I get the skin off of it. 
And if you see me throwing stuff, I found a piece of skin. Dyson, Dyson, Dyson. Y'all see hubby, he's working, y'all. Got the dude to pay you bow for work. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. And I'm gonna cut up my um green onions. I got green onions and yellow onions going in. I wanted a bite, you know, some crunch this time. Normally I cook um my chicken and rice and it just be chicken and rice, cream of chicken soup and my seasonings. I don't usually add all these vegetables. But again I wanted a crunch this time. So I'm trying something different. I don't think you can go wrong with vegetables, right? But we're gonna see. This is something new, y'all. Green, green, green. I'm only cutting two of them up. Should be about a half a cup or more. A little more, maybe. Again, I got yellow onions, too. That cleaned up. And I got some bean sprouts. I'm going to get those rinsed. And I'm going to end up cutting them in half. Just a little bit. So now it's time to put everything together. And I'm going to start adding three cups of chicken stock. Remember, I had three cups of chicken stock for my rice. And I'm adding three cups of chicken stock to this pot. And I got um, some frozen peas and carrots. I'm only going to put in a cup. I guess that's a cup. My little small bowl. That's about a cup. I'm going to put those in first because they were frozen. And I got this mixture also from Walmart. It's a mixture. I'm using one cup now. But it's a mixture of carrots, onion, and celery. One cup. Getting that a mix. I'm trying to show y'all the colors. The colors. And I have, well, what's going next is a can of cream of chicken soup. I'm trying to show y'all, y'all. I don't got enough room, but I'm trying to show y'all everything. So that's going in. Quick stir. It's starting to look like the color of um, if I was doing a chicken pot pie. <laughs> but that's not what I'm going for, y'all. Chicken and rice. I'm not trying to do a soup, but that's... It seems like that's what it's turning out to be. In goes that rotisserie, the chicken breast. Yeah, it's just the breast. Now, remember, it's done, y'all. So if you wonder why she put it in now, watch. Because it's, it's already done. The peas and carrots been cooking for a minute. Now in goes those bean sprouts. And the green onions. Mixing everything up. Mm, Y'all. It's smelling good. If nothing else, it's smelling good. And it's looking good. All the colors. Make it seem like, oh, you really doing something. <laughs> but it looks good to me. Sticking it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to add some seasonings. I got some bouillon. I had to move that part out the way. I'm trying to show y'all. This chicken flavor bouillon seasoning. I love it. I love it. I buy the big container of that one. It lasts. But it is so flavorful. 
Anyway, I end up putting two teaspoons of that seasoning in. And uh, maybe a teaspoon of black pepper. I think I added a little more. Because I like spice. I want a little heat. And I'm, me, I'm not using a lot of seasoning with this. Because of all the other ingredients. It's going to bring on flavor. I'm going to add in my rice. I did a cup and a half of rice. But I end up, I didn't need all that rice. You see, it's, it's, it, it made a lot. And again, it's just for the hubby and me. So that the remaining rice, I may use it mm, for something else. I don't know what, but I know I didn't need that much in this one. In this pot, this meal, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Chicken and rice and some more stuff. That's it. That's it. Chicken and rice and some more stuff. So I'm about to put the lid on it. And let all the flavors and everything simmer together. For maybe another 10-15 minutes. On low. It's on low, y'all. Fire is on low. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot. My garlic. That's a no-no. Do not forget the garlic. Garlic and herb. That's another um, teaspoon I added in. I love garlic. I don't know how I forget my garlic. Anyway, I'm going to give that a good mix. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and let it cook. Well, let it simmer all the flavors in together for another 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to check it. Now I got some Jiffy Mix. Honey Jiffy Mix. The hubby and I like this. So, yeah, I'm going to fix it. I'm just trying to get out some of the lumps before I add the egg and milk in. Y'all know this box stuff. Once I guess it sits, it just clumped together. So I'm just trying to break it up. Uh, instructions are on the box. It calls for one egg and one third cup of milk. Get my egg in. And I'm going to gradually add my milk in. Because sometimes I may need the whole one-third and sometimes I may not. So, it just depends on the consistency you want. If you want it thin, add more milk. So, I end up using all this, the whole one-third. Besides what's spilled out. But, I did use a hun- one-third, I'm sorry, I used the whole one-third cup of milk. For this honey jiffy mix, I got my oven preheating. I got a pan with some melted butter in that this mixture is going in. And I think I cooked it 400 degrees for 16, 17 minutes. I normally do 20 minutes, but when I checked it, it was ready. I want to say 16, 17 minutes. It was done. Again, I'm just, I'm just adding in my milk. I end up using it all, as I said. So I'm going to get it in my pan. Did I melt some butter in. And it's going in the oven. 400 degrees, 16, 17 minutes. Top. That's it. Like I said, I checked it, and it was done. Because I normally do 20 minutes. But, you know, cooking varies. It varies. Take this out. I'm going to take my cornbread out. And that's it. It's done. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. There it is, y'all. Thanks again for watching.